It's no surprise the University of Houston's campus was a little quiet this morning. I mean, what do you expect when your basketball team just advanced to the Sweet 16 for the first time in 35 years? Knowing that, um, that we're bringing back the um, tradition of this program, uh, putting this program back on the map. My dad went to school here during Fight Slam Jamma, so it was really cool like having him, uh, oh, me going here now and then my dad back in the day watching um, Olajuwon and all of them. The last time the Cougars were in the Sweet 16 was back in 1984. Reagan was president. Apple had just released its first Mac personal computer and Phi Slamma Jamma was taking over H-Town. It was just so exciting to watch them. I mean, that, that, that's how, how they ended up with this, uh, this nickname, Phi Slamma Jamma. You know, uh, everybody went to their games because it was just such high excitement. Dr. Jeff Morgan is now an associate provost for the University of Houston, but he was a graduate student here back then. The campus was a lot different back then, the mid-80s. It was predominantly students commuting. All of Houston cheered as the team made it to the Final Four every year from 1982 to 1984. Players like Akeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler were kings on campus. Both of them finally joined the Houston Rockets, elevating their university and city to legendary sports status. You don't hear people say things like uh, Cougar High anymore. This is a tier one university and, and people treat the University of Houston with much, with much more seriousness than they ever have before.